Simon Lena Singh, MBE, is a British popular science author whose works largely contain a strong mathematical element. His written works include Fermat's Last Theorem, The Code Book, Big Bang, Trick or Treatment, Alternative Medicine on Trial and The Simpsons and the Mathematical Secrets. In 2012 Singh founded the Good Thinking Society. Singh has also produced documentaries and works for television to accompany his books, is a trustee of NESA, the National Museum of Science and Industry and co-founded the Undergraduate Ambassadors Scheme. Education Singh's parents emigrated from Punjab, India to Britain in 1950. He is the youngest of three brothers, his eldest brother being Tom Singh, the founder of the UK New Look chain of stores. Singh grew up in Wellington, Somerset, attending Wellington School, and went on to Imperial College London, where he studied physics. He was active in the Student Union, becoming president of the Royal College of Science Union. Later he completed a PhD degree in particle physics at Emmanuel College, Cambridge and at CERN, Geneva. Career. In 1983, he was part of the UA2 experiment in CERN. In 1987, Singh taught science at the Dune School, the independent all-boys boarding school in India. In 1990 Singh returned to England and joined the BBC's Science and Features Department, where he was a producer and director working on programmes such as Tomorrow's World and Horizon. Singh was introduced to Richard Wiseman through their collaboration on Tomorrow's World. At Wiseman's suggestion, Singh directed a segment about politicians lying in different mediums, and getting the public's opinion on if the person was lying or not. After attending some of Wiseman's lectures, Singh came up with the idea to create a show together, and Theatre of Science was born. It was a way to deliver science to normal people in an entertaining manner. Richard Wiseman has influenced Singh in such a way that Singh states, Singh directed his BAFTA award-winning documentary about the world's most notorious mathematical problem entitled Fermat's Last Theorem in 1996. The film was memorable for its opening shot of a middle-aged mathematician, Andrew Wiles, holding back tears as he recalled the moment when he finally realized how to resolve the fundamental error in his proof of Fermat's last theorem. The documentary was originally transmitted in October 1997 as an edition of the BBC Horizon series. It was also aired in America as part of the Nova series. The proof, as it was retitled, was nominated for an Emmy Award. The story of this celebrated mathematical problem was also the subject of Singh's first book Fermat's Last Theorem. In 1997, he began working on his second book, The Code Book, A History of Codes and Code Breaking, as well as explaining the science of codes and describing the impact of cryptography on history. The book also contends that cryptography is more important today than ever before. The code book has resulted in a return to television for him. He presented The Science of Secrecy, a five-part series for Channel 4. The stories in the series range from the cipher that sealed the fate of Mary, Queen of Scots, to the coded Zimmerman telegram that changed the course of the First World War. Other programs discuss how two great 19th century geniuses raced to decipher Egyptian hieroglyphs and how modern encryption can guarantee privacy on the Internet. On his activities as author he said in an interview to Imperial College London. In October 2004, Singh published a book entitled Big Bang, which tells the history of the universe. It is told in his trademark style, by following the remarkable stories of the people who put the pieces together. In 2003, Singh was made a member of the Order of the British Empire for Services to Science, Technology and Engineering in Education and Science Communication. In the same year he was made Doctor of Letters by Loughborough University and in 2005 was given an honorary degree in mathematics by the University of Southampton. He continues to be involved in television and radio programs, including A Further Five Numbers, 
He made headlines in 2005 when he criticized the Katie Melua song, Nine Million Bicycles, for inaccurate lyrics referring to the size of the observable universe. Singh proposed corrected lyrics, though he used the value of 13.7 billion light-years, accounting for expansion of the universe. The commoving distance to the edge of the observable universe is 46.5 billion light-years. BBC Radio 4's Today programme brought Melua and Singh together in a radio studio where Melua recorded a tongue-in-cheek version of the song that had been written by Singh. In 2006, he was awarded an honorary Doctor of Design degree by the University of the West of England in recognition of Simon Singh's outstanding contribution to the public understanding of science in particular in the promotion of science, engineering and mathematics in schools and in the building of links between universities and schools. This was followed up by his receipt of the Kelvin Medal from the Institute of Physics in 2008, for his achievements in promoting physics to the general public. In July 2008, he was also awarded a degree of Doctor of Science by Royal Holloway, University of London. In July 2011, he was awarded another degree of Doctor of Science by the University of Kent for Services to Science. In June 2012, Singh was awarded the honorary degree of Doctor of Science for his contribution to science communication, education and academic freedom by the University of St. Andrews. Singh was a part of an investigation about homeopathy in 2006. This investigation was made by the organization Sense About Science. In the investigation, a student asked 10 homeopaths for an alternative to her preventative malaria medication. All 10 homeopaths recommended homeopathy as a substitute. This investigation was reported by the BBC. Simon is a member of the Advisory Council for the Campaign for Science and Engineering. He is the inaugural recipient of the Lila Vati Award. In February 2011 he was elected as a Fellow of the Committee for Skeptical Inquiry, Chiropractic Lawsuit. In 19 April 2008, The Guardian published Singh's column, Beware the Spinal Trap, an article that was critical of the practice of chiropractic and which resulted in Singh being sued for libel by the British Chiropractic Association. The article developed the theme of the book that Singh and Ed Sardernst had published Trick or Treatment, Alternative Medicine on Trial, and made various statements about the lack of usefulness of chiropractic for such problems as ear infections and infant colic. When the case was first brought against him, The Guardian supported him and funded his legal advice as well as offering to pay the BCA's legal costs in an out-of-court settlement if Singh chose to settle. A furious backlash to the lawsuit resulted in the filing of formal complaints of false advertising against more than 500 individual chiropractors within one 24-hour period, with one national chiropractic organization ordering its members to take down their websites and Nature Medicine noting that the case had gathered wide support for Singh, as well as prompting calls for the reform of English libel laws. On 1 April 2010, Simon Singh won his court appeal for the right to rely on the defense of fair comment. On 15 April 2010, the BCA officially withdrew its lawsuit, ending the case. To defend himself for the libel suit, Singh's out-of-pocket legal costs were tens of thousands of pounds, but the trial has acted as a catalyst and focus for libel reform campaigners resulting in all major parties in the 2010 UK general election making manifesto commitments to libel reform. On 25 April 2013 the Defamation Act 2013 received Queen Elizabeth II's royal assent and became law. The purpose of the reformed law of defamation is to ensure that a fair balance is struck between the right to freedom of expression and the protection of reputation. Under the new law, plaintiffs must show that they suffer serious harm before the court will accept the case. Additional protection for website operators 
defensive, responsible publication on matters of public interest, and new statutory defenses of truth and honest opinion are also part of the key areas of the new law. Bibliography Fermat's Last Theorem The Theorem's Initial Conjecture and Eventual Proof The Code Book A History of Cryptography ISBN 9781-85702-879-9 Big Bang Discusses Models for the Origin of the Universe ISBN 0 0 3 Trick or Treatment, Alternative Medicine on Trial, examines various types of alternative medicine, finds lack of evidence, ISBN 0-593-06129-2. The Simpsons and the Mathematical Secrets, highlights mathematical references in The Simpsons, ISBN 1-620-40277-7.